JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, a widely known show with a lot of media surrounding it in the past few years. At this point, everyone knows about JoJo. The crazy fights with huge 6 foot 5 muscular men beating each other up, and the trademark do 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 There are a lot of things in JoJo that make it very different from its competitors. Now what we'll be talking about today is the art change from part 3 to part 4. If you haven't gotten to part 4 yet, I'll explain what happens. Yeah, there's actually a reason behind this art change and honestly, it's kind of dumb. Now I'll just say it here, I watched a few episodes of part 4 and half of part 5, then dropped the show. It wasn't specifically because of the art change, I just stopped caring about stands and I was hoping there'd be no more stands after part 3, but I was very wrong. It was only interesting for stands to manifest in people as a side effect for Dio coming back, so whatever else happened after, I didn't really care about. So here's the deal, Hirohiko Araki is the manga artist for Jojo. The series is a lot older than most people think, not many people know about the old 1993 version of Jojo, so I'll shed a little bit of light. Araki made Jojo's Bizarre Adventure in 1987. There was never an anime adaptation for Joseph and Jonathan until 2012, weirdly. They just skipped right to part 3. This anime adaptation is hilarious to watch, it's kinda scuffed. And it doesn't help that it's an OVA and the beginning of the story isn't animated, it's really hard to understand what's going on here. You kinda get dropped into the story with no real understanding of really anything. But nonetheless, the manga author developed his buff men style in accordance to the Fist of the North Star, and also taking into account some American buff dude movies. When Araki got to part 4, he simply said he got tired of the buff dudes. So halfway through writing Josuke's part, he flipped the style. He claimed that people with superpowers like a stand don't need to be buff. He thought it was overkill at that point. With the Hominarch, it fit pretty well, but then he decided it was out of favor. It was a super awkward decision, but a lot of people like it. The anime animated the entire part 4 in the new style, obviously, so it's kind of a shock to see Jotaro like this when minutes beforehand he looked like this. I'm a proud 1 through 3 art style stan. I definitely respect how Jojo looks currently, but I developed a love for the previous art. I think both art styles are very Jojo in their own ways. Part 5 took the new style and fixed some bad elements. Like, I understand that they're trying to make it all funky and stuff, but a yellow sky and pink houses are just a lot to handle when going from this to this. Now for me personally, I like when things are consistent in anime, especially the animation. So when Attack on Titan changes studios, it freaks me out a bit. It's the same way with part 4. And with a reason as simple as just, I didn't like the art style anymore, it leaves a lot of room for criticism. Some could say it's respectable to keep the series exactly how you want it, and others could say it's irresponsible to change it so drastically. Well anyways, that was me rambling. Comment how you feel about Jojo and the art change. Thank you guys for watching.